Yo Rebels, what is going on? Welcome back to Hunger Games on the Mindplex. We're playing on Shattered Kingdom and I feel like I haven't really been playing on this map too much lately. I don't know, like I'm not that big of a fan anymore. I'm not sure what happened. Like, I used to love this map but, I don't know, it got a little bit boring for some reason. Nowadays I prefer like Aztec Island, Riverton Castle, Fallout, those things but Shattered Kingdom, meh. It's it's okay, I guess. So here we go, winning the Hunger Games. It's raining right now outside IRL, by the way. If you don't know what that is, I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it to you because I had trouble figuring it out myself. So yeah, whatever. It's raining, so you know, what a better time to play Hunger Games on the Mineplex. Even though I do, I would do probably anyway. I need to go outside more often, you know. I, like, about half a year ago, I used to be outside so much. So much compared to now. So much more. I need to I need to make it a habit of mine. Get some fresh air. You know, get some movement going. Oh, dang it. I'll, I'll, I'll go out. Actually, I won't go outside after this. It's raining. Damn it. Well, one day, maybe. If I feel like it. <laughs> that that day could be very long away. It rhymed. I don't know. Alright, let's get these chests here. Oh, frames, please. They always used to be way more chests here, I feel like. Before the update. Maybe it's just me. There's sometimes a chest here. There is one today. Nice. Let's just go into these buildings. Back in the days, I always used to go into every single building that is like around the marketplace like this. I never went went back up, or sorry, never went up into the second or first floor. Um, but the ground level I always looted. Nowadays I just go into one or two buildings. It's probably not the best idea because I'm getting some pretty decent stuff here. Don't really need much more except a fishing rod, arrows and a stone sword. Apart from that I'm pretty much you know, set to go, ready to fight. Some of these chests out here, not today. Not today. That's what I, what I love about the randomness of the chests. I just wish they I just got experience from that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wish they would bring back like the old chest loot though. You used to be able to find diamonds in any chest, you know, iron armor in any chest. There was a there was a chance of it spawning in any chest. They can keep the spawn chests, you know, to be very valuable, whatever, have like good stuff as they do now, but they need to bring back the old looting system as well. I kind of combine the two, I feel. Like it's so sad. If you don't get iron armor or diamond off spawn, then you have to kill people to be able to get that. And if you have nothing, you can't kill them in the first place, so you're pretty much screwed. Oh, hello, there's a team! Okay, we killed that person. I don't think we have arrows, do we? No. Um... We're just gonna go around the fountain once. Didn't realize there was a team. I was kind of waiting for them to fight. Then get some regeneration. I think they're just gonna go in. What we're gonna do is, we're going to go around this house like this. And then do this. He didn't expect that, did he? No, he certainly didn't. GG. That's how it's done. You have to play dirty at times. He had some pretty good stuff, actually. We could make... We can, we can make a stick. Let's go to spawn. Oh, I needed a sword, actually. Ah, uh, no, we don't really, because we're about to make an iron sword. Alright, uh, we're not even going to go to the supply drop, unless it's on the way. Like, oh, wait, it is up there. Oh, we would have to go this way anyway. That's pretty convenient, not going to lie. Alright, uh, let's make this iron sword. Haven't crafted an iron sword for ages. It's always a diamond sword, or you just steal swords from other people. <laughs> no, you borrow them, I mean, you borrow them. Luckily, there's water at spawn. Nobody really goes for the supply drop anymore. There always used to be shenanigans going down. But nowadays, like, it's very rare that you get a person or two going for this one. I reckon today it'll be like a like a two or three team waiting and getting it. What? There we go. Come on, let's eat. Break. Yes, there we go. And we have got ourselves an iron sword as well as some arrows. Four arrows to be exact. Oh, we can enchant! That's excellent! I didn't see this enchanting table. And the bow, obviously. That's like what you always want to enchant. Always go for the bow first, unless you have an... Unless you have an iron sword or greater. Hmm. I guess... 
Yeah, but if you have a diamond sword, definitely enchant the diamond sword first. And then the bow. Or if you only have one level, go for the diamond sword. If it's an iron sword, I'm not sure. I guess it depends how many arrows I have. Uh, you have, that is. Yeah, see, nobody went for this. It's sad. And only now is this guy coming around. Alright. Let's see, my friend. You've got pretty decent stuff. Let's just back off a little bit. Get an advantage. Oh, 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 oh frames. You're gonna go back around here. And then back around here. Because he'll, he'll think. Yes. And we're gonna go back up here. Because this is like a really good area to fight. And we're going to shoot him now. I chucked that egg at his head, too. Good fight. Dang, that's strafing though. Not bad. That was pretty good. Alright, we have so much crap here that we don't need. Uh, don't need more sticks. Nearest player. Where are you? Uh, out here somewhere. Oh, what? I'm not gonna go back down there. It's always such a, t such a hustle to get back up. I don't feel like it. I wanna stay at spawn level here. We can just craft four more arrows. They'll be worth it, I think. And enchant those boots. I don't know, is it gonna make a difference? Probably not, but it looks better. It looks scary. Alright, hopefully everyone's gonna sneak up. They've been doing that a lot lately. They, they've always been doing it a lot, but they've been doing it even more lately. I don't know why. Half the games I lose are probably me getting spawn... Uh, not spawn killed, um, snuck up on when I sort my inventory after a fight. And then I'm still low, so I, like, they usually just kill me off in three or four hits. And my reaction time isn't that fast. I usually hear footsteps when I'm like five blocks away. So I start gaining momentum, but I still get three or four hits on me because of ping. And mindplex knockback, and mindplex everything. <laughs> um, so they usually kill me from low on health. It's kind of annoying. Because I will most likely kill them in the 1v1. I'm not saying I'm better at them, but, uh, better than them in PvP, but most likely I'll kill them. I have come across some pretty good people lately, though. They've been posing a challenge, and it's awesome. It really is. Okay, anyway, let's get some arrows going here. I mean, this isn't bad. Conferences are always much appreciated. No? Oh, this is... No! Flint we need. No feathers. No... More fishing rod, actually. No, yeah, I mean, whatever. Uh, no. This is like the worst chest refill ever. Wow. I'm disappointed. Okay, let's go for this guy. I think he's coming up. Yeah, he would have to be already be up on this level. Yeah, there we go. GG, that would have hurt him like at least three hearts. At least. I'm not gonna shoot him again because I'll probably miss and I need to save my arrows. If he goes to this... Oh, I can shoot him. He can't strive any... Well, that was kind of embarrassing, actually. He picked it up. I need to kill... Oh, you! There we go, he's dead. What?! He's not even facing me! Oh, he is facing me. Back off, mate! How many does he have? Like, whoa. He's dead. He got stuck. GG, sir. Give me that arrow back. Thank you. <laughs> did he even have flint? Oh, he did have flint. Oh, the fishing rod. I need that. He got it. Fishing rod is great. Alright. That was... I don't know how he evaded those arrows, though. <laughs> it always happens. I hate it so much. Like, the shot seemed so easy, and I still somehow missed. Lol. It's also weird when you get hit with snowballs or eggs. Mineplex puts arrows into your body, like th like this. He didn't shoot me, he just chucked snowballs at me. For some reason I got arrows stuck in my body. So it obviously has to do with, like, the way it calculates a knockback or something. I don't know, it's weird. Like, why would that need to be a thing? S snowballs do knockback either way. Like, why arrows? Someone's coming. And that's what I mean. Ha, huh, he fell into the water too. Let's put on some extra pants. I don't know what I was thinking! I was in the enchanting table, I saw him, I heard him approach. And I was just standing there, doing nothing about it. <laughs> but I'm not really that low, I reckon we can fight him. Oh, it's just me and him, that's pretty funny. People are too good at strifing. Let's 
Stop picking up my arrows! Ah, we're gonna fight him in deathmatch. GG. Come on! Oh! <laughs> yes! Was it one second? Ah, oh, two seconds. G. G. That was some good snipes. That was some good snipes. Power 1 OP. Good game. That made me feel confident about my bow skills. Even though I missed all the ones at the beginning of that fight. <laughs> Still got the snipes in the end. I was... I was not even gonna shoot the last arrow. I was like, nah, deathmatch is gonna start. I'm just gonna waste an arrow. But yet, I made it anyway. <laughs> the snipes. Hope you enjoyed that episode of Hunger Games on the Mindplex. Until tomorrow, stay rebel and goodbye.